Hey guys, Michael here. Today I'm going to show you how to engrave on clear acrylic with the diode laser. Yeah, but I thought a diode laser passes right through clear acrylic. So that guy's actually right. With any diode laser, including the M1, you cannot cut or engrave on clear acrylic. The laser just passes right through as if you are shining a flashlight at that piece of acrylic. Naturally, a diode laser works better with opaque acrylics. If you're wondering, is this acrylic compatible with my diode laser, take a look at the xtool.com website. Go through their acrylics and actually look at the description of a color you're interested in. If it says compatible with all lasers, that one will work with your M1, D1, everything. However, if it says this, that means it's only compatible with CO2 lasers. Today I'm going to share with you a method you can use to engrave on clear acrylic. For this project, we're going to need some clear acrylic a bowl, a paintbrush. Now I find that the paintbrush with soft bristles works best and some tempera paint. Now I find that black works best. However, you can also use purple if you cannot find black. So for today's project, I'm gonna make an ornament using clear acrylic and engraving on it. So on my project, I have a combination of wood and clear acrylic. The bottom section are the wooden pieces. I've already made those and cut those out, so I can turn those off by highlighting them and selecting the output and make sure it's set to off. At the top is the label for clear acrylic. I don't need to cut out that label. I'm gonna make sure that's turned off. Now, let's focus on this piece right here. So this is what we're gonna focus on today is the piece of clear acrylic. It's four inches wide by three inches tall, and I'm gonna engrave Merry Christmas X Tool 2022 on there. So because you can't cut acrylic with a diode laser, I use my saw to cut out the acrylic. You can cut it like a piece of wood. You can use a little hand saw, or in my case, I use my scroll saw. Once you have it to size, you want to peel off the protective cover, the top and the bottom, and get ready to paint. So now that we had the acrylic ready to go, we need to paint it. So you take your tempera paint and you want to actually water it down. I used a one to three ratio where I have one part paint, three parts water. I mix this really well in a bowl to make sure it's nice and smooth. You want to make sure your paint is really well mixed and dip your brush in there. Get a good even coat on your brush and you want to just drag the paint brush across it. Use the weight of the brush that you don't want to push down. Now the first two or three layers of this paint, it may want to drag off the other layer that you previously put on. Take your time. Just use the weight of the brush. Now, as far as the paint goes, you want to do about four to six coats and get a nice even coat across your acrylic. This is what mine looks like here. I'm not sure if you can see that very good. So if you get spotty spots in it or lumps in it, it's okay. Just rinse it off and try it again. You want to make sure this is nice and smooth so that the engraving will be nice and smooth when it's finished. So I already have my M1 set up. I had the base plate installed. I have aluminum foil on top of that base plate. I have it taped down in the corners just so when it's running, it doesn't blow around. I also have two prisms installed so that I can set my acrylic on top of those prisms. You want to make sure that red dot is on top of your acrylic. That way, when you perform your auto measure, it'll get an accurate reading. So before I start with the alignment process of the acrylic, let's make sure everything's set up properly. I'm in laser flat mode, height raise set to triangular prism. I'm going to auto measure my thickness and I'm going to use a user defined material because what I want to do is set up the engraving exactly the way I like it. I've already set up a small test grid and engraved this on a small test piece and I found that 65% power at 45% speed will fit my needs perfectly. Now that it's been auto measured and everything's set up, I can move this to the right location I can move it up and down a little bit with my arrow keys and I'm going to hit process and use the framing feature of the M1 to make sure that the acrylic is in the right spot. I'm going to press framing here and then over on the M1 I'm going to press the button on the front. Okay, I need to adjust mine a little bit so what I'm going to do is actually in the software itself I'm going to cancel out and I'm going to move this around a little bit using my arrow keys and proceed to do that over and over again until it hits just right in the center of that acrylic. Now 
Now I need to look at the engraving itself. Because I want to engrave the back side of the acrylic, I need to mirror this. So I'm going to come over here and say reflect horizontally. Now it's reverse of what it actually shows on the front. Last thing I want to do before I hit start is delete this rectangle. Select this object and make sure I'm at the right settings. 65% power and 45% speed. The rest of it, I'm going to leave it as is. One pass in 100 lines per centimeter. So I'm ready to get started. Let's process, hit the button on the M1, and away we go. Okay, it's all finished up. Let's head on over to the kitchen sink and rinse this off. Here's what it looks like before I put it in the ornament. Now all I have to do is set this inside of my frame and put some dots of glue around the frame. Hold that down for a couple of seconds. And there's my clear acrylic ornament. Let's see what it looks like in front of the tree. Well, that's it for today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you next time.